Hi guys, so welcome back again to my channel and I would just like to thank everyone who watched my previous video which is the uh, virtual street and travel photography challenge wherein I took you guys to Osaka, Japan and I shot uh, some places that I've been to and yung mga bago pa lang na napuntahan ko via Google Maps and yung street view option yet. So thank you for subscribing to my channel and keep liking the videos that I create and I appreciate all the comments that you've been uh, posting on my channel. And for today's video, since a lot of friends have been requesting me to do this for quite a while now, so ngayon papakita ko how I do my editing process, so how I edit my photographs and yeah, I wanna highlight for this video is my main photo editing app, which is the Visco camera. <laughs> and I know a lot of you guys are using Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom, but for me, Visco camera works pretty well since my main um, editing device is an iPad Pro. So that's what I've been using for the past year. And yeah, super na help in Visco. And I just want to say that Visco is more than just a filters app. So alam naman natin na panay filters lang yung Visco camera, but it's more than that. So for today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to maximize the application. Aside from the editing part of this video, I'll show you guys how to maximize the app because and damik pa kayo pwede magawa sa app other than just editing your photos and by the way this is not a sponsored video but I just want to share with you guys how I do my process talaga. okay let's start <laughs> okay, so the first thing you can see is my iPad screen so yeah so ganyan lang siya simple but yeah I like it that way so let's first uh, launch the app Visco camera and as you can see here, these are my photographs from my previous edits that I've posted on Instagram. So let's add first some photos. So, okay, let's start with this one, Sadulo. So, okay, this is a shoot that I did with my friend Anthony. So you can check out the video that I've created wherein I featured him. So just find it on my channel. So let's open this. Natin to three photos that so if you can see um, the photograph is quite desaturated because I created this um, a picture profile on my camera setting na para magmukhang desaturated siya and yeah so para mas may room for me to edit with the photograph it's not raw but it's parang yun. It's like raw. <laughs> okay, so we will have all the filters here. I already have my favorite filters. So one way to create your favorite filters is by... Ayan, you can add star then yun. It's a favorite sun siya. Okay, so one of... Ayan, makikita nyo na kung yung favorite filter na gamitin ko. So for the first... Last year, or for the past years, my favorite go-to filter is this one. It's the C8. So you can see, any changes niya. So it gives you a blue, mas na highlight yung blues and other oranges na um, color. So, yun. Then, okay, then after that, add ko na yung, start ko na yung add ko with the exposure. Make sure that it doesn't blow up the background, but giving more light than to the foreground or the main subject. So, ganyan. Then, my sharp option then here on this go. And I also add a bit of contrast. Then, maganda din sa visco is that yung crop tool niya, you have this Q button wherein you can straighten um, those lines, kagaya nito sa left side na hindi siya yung accurate na line because na distort yung lens because I use a 35mm lens so it tendency is to mag distort yung sides na 
line so I can adjust the Y axis and so you can see my just straight now then you can also do the side then if you want yeah, so it's okay then mas lumabas yung details natin sa mga tutamaan ng light and the white balance ayaw ko naman ito okay, let's add a bit of that okay yan, so yun yung naging difference nya so super laki na and actually Visco makes your light easy so yun but sabi ko nga it's more than just a filters app so you need to do all the necessary edits para with your photograph because you can't rely on just a specific filter. So then your skin tone, then if you want it more, and kit kung makita nyo dito, kita ng kita changes skin tone. So on the left side, mas tagaing red siya, but we want it more neutral. Yeah, I think that. Then if you want to add vignette, add it then, but I want to keep it this way. Then next one and din pala ito yung added feature na wala sa free option ng Visco. So if you subscribe to them, well parang 700 lang naman for one year. They give you this uh, HSL feature wherein you can adjust every color, you know, uh, shade ng reds, oranges, yellow, green, blue and violet. Um, then pwede mo adjust yung hue, saturation and lightness. So so my kita nyo, medyo affected sa skin. Then, and since ayaw ko na super reddish, okay dyan. Then, okay, then, adjust natin yung oranges. Pero ayaw ko din yung super saturated ng photograph. So, tone down natin on yung saturation. Pwede din natin let adjust yung color, color na skin tone using the orange hues. Then yellow, kung meron pa. Okay, sa skin pa rin affected since may shade din ng yellow yung skin natin. So, ayan, saturate mo ante. Hanapin lang natin yung tamang color. Okay, then yung I think next kong i-adjust is the blues since evident sa ibang parts ng photograph yung blues. So, gusto ko ba ng ganitong shade, ganitong shade, but gawin natin ganitong shade. Then, desaturate na ante para hindi masyado affected yung blues here on his face there then we can sharpen it again okay I'm gonna scroll down there so next then pwede man na siyang save to camera roll but if you plan to edit it more you can save it as well good thing about Visco is that if you're doing batch photos so batch editing of photographs so you can just copy it copy the editing style here then let's click these two photographs then paste yeah so we copy the filter natin sa photo so let's see yeah same part and so usually I pag batch edit na i want it the same kind of feel na adjust ko pa rin naman yung exposure since the bago bago ng lighting condition every place so then adjust the cropping so you know adjust the lagging crop then use Q so yun sana na ako so super quick na lang lagi ako pag nag-edit ng photograph so yun yung difference then if ayaw ko yung masyadong blue niya since may blue sa background pwede ko pabawasan so, mas tone down yung edit for this one. Then, okay, save as draft. Then, for this last one, ito yung isang ginagawa kong edit madalas with my photographs. So, since uh, I've used this filter already, yung C8, and gusto ko patungan pa ng isang filter yung photograph ko. Uh, kasi it makes a huge change. So, sige, try natin if babalik ko sa simula walang filter yan and then mag add ako ng filter na isa sa favorite ko din gamitin which is this one 
Kung mapansin nyo, super blue and quite um, desaturated yung skin niya and walang life. So, sige. Edit lang natin na mga. Okay, bawasan natin mga ng blue since super blue. Then, then, sinagiging super dark na yung shade niya and parang hindi enough yung colors na nagigive niya. So, sige, mamaya. I'll show you guys the comparison of the edits. Then, what if naman i-start ko tong edit na to with my filter kanina, which is the C8. And the next, save ko. Then, ito yung madalas ko gawin with my editing. So, balik natin sa taas. Ayan, so, i-kukunin ko ito ngayon. Yung kaka-edit ko lang with the uh, original filter. Since hindi ko nga pwede patungan na ng filter itong unang photograph, this one I can adjust pa with a new filter. So, pag nag add ako ng U3, ayan. So, kung, kung kita nyo, mas pop yung colors ng skin niya. Then, pwede ko pa ma-adjust yung blues. guys, yung comparison nung U3 filter lang without the C8 edit and the one with the C8 edit. So, ito yung may C8 edit. As you can see, super mas litaw yung colors ng skin. Unlike this one na parang mas dead yung colors natin. So, ganun usually ginagawa ko is that I add filter on top of another filter. Ayun nga, so I use this specific um, picture profile, so I need to add specific colors on my photograph para mas may buhay siya. So, as you can see, yan. Yun yung difference. Okay, so we can now do more editing. Sige, so, play natin to. These photographs naman were taken during my first POV video that I uploaded here on YouTube. usually pala every morning mas blue yung tent compared with the afternoon na light na I mean noon time to ah, na very white yung pinaka temperature or tint ng photographs and during the sunset of course medyo orangey and yellow na so yeah so madalas ako nag-remove ng blues every morning shoot ko it means if yung color sa mga subject natin just make sure yung color ko Then, kagaya ng ganoon ako kanina, pwede mo ulit patungan na filter on top of your creation. Then, kung ito mo nilang ako ulit, may edit for a new year, same thing. So, kaya edit natin. Okay. Kasi ito yung blues. Then, edit some contrast. So, ito so, yung from C8. Then, ito yung may U3. And, mukhang sin super blue. Add tayo na kunting white balance.
ng cover photo ng um, video ko ng EOV video number one. So, editing part ng um, Visco. So, what things you can do pa sa Visco camera? So, iba nyo pang pwede magawa here. So, aside from editing photos, you can also edit videos. As you can see here, ito yung mga screenshot ko ng editing ko. So, let's choose this one kunyari. Ayan yung video ko for teaser ko na ginawa um, last week for my virtual photography challenge. So, so yun is to take photographs taken by Google Maps. Ayan, sige, so Then, so what you can do here is to add filters sa photograph mo. Yeah, so napadali yung life mo with um, creating filters for your video. So I can also use C8, yung ginamit ko kanina, then S2 or U2, U3 na ginamit ko rin. So, but I suggest na gamitin nyo to for um, specific clips or if as a whole, pero kasi dito sa ginawa kong teaser, I also added here photographs na edited na. So, well, pag in-edit ko na yung buong video here, ma-affect na lahat ng frames ng videos kasama yung photos na edit ko. So, masisira lang. So, I suggest if you're planning to edit a video is to import um, the videos first here on your Visco camera. Then, add the specific filter that you want. Tsaka mo, i-edit sa proper editing software ng video. So, kung nga yung C8, ginamit ko, then yun, pwede ko pa rin adjust yung HSL. So, if I think super orange nung saturation, I can tone down the orange. Then, yung blues, pwede ko ulit babaan. Ayan, so basically, you have everything here in this ko. Lalo na kung photo and videos yung ginagawa nyo. Okay, so that's that. Then, other features sa mga walang Photoshop and always on the go. Uh, once you subscribe to Visco Camera, pwede kayong magkaroon ng collage option. So, there. Add some media. Kunwari, add mo na natin ito. If I want this as my background. Tapos, palakihin natin. Yan. Then, if you want another photograph sa frame, pwede natin ko ito. Siya. or kung gusto pa natin maglagay ng isa pa for the collage we can add it here or we want it smaller sige is ito pa natin adjust there and if mas gusto ko itong foreground pwede ko i forward ayan <laughs> so para may collage um, part din sa Visco camera. So, super sulit na sulit ko. <laughs> because I also create um, collages for my Instagram feed. So, yun. So, there. I can save it. Yay! So, ayun guys. Thank you for watching. So, I hope you learned a lot kung paano ko edit yung photographs ko and some of my videos. And, just comment down below if nagusto nyo ba yung ginawa kong edits or yung Visco camera in general. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or challenges na pwede kong gawin on my channel, just comment down below. And if you like this video, just click the like button. And if you wanna um, see more of my uh, videos just subscribe to my channel or click the bell button para ma notify kayo for future videos and thank you for uh, watching the entire video <laughs> Ayun. so see you guys next time and have a great day